Sometimes the questions for these ones are just a little bit more specific. Like sometimes they ask for a similarity or difference. That's a pretty consistent thing across SATs, but sometimes they're more specific to just like whatever information we're given. So in this case, the student wants to use a quotation to support a claim about Tharp's uh, contribution to rock and roll. So there's almost like two goals here that I think are, are happening, right? We have the, it's gotta be a quotation. And then goal number two is it's gotta relate to her contribution to rock and roll. So let's see what we can do thinking about it as, as two unique things we want. A, gospel musician's sister Rosetta Tharp had a major impact on rock and roll and she was known for her passionate electric guitar performances. So it's maybe explaining what her contribution is, but it's not using a quote, right? That's a very easy thing to even notice, right? We could just skim and see that that piece is missing. B, Celise Henderson believes that Sister Rosetta Tharp had a major impact on the development of rock and roll. Well, if we had a quote from Celise Henderson saying that, different story, but we don't, right? There's no quote there. So again, that, that part is important. It's in the question. We need to have it in the answer choice as well. C, Sister Rosetta Tharp had such a major impact on rock and roll that Celise Henderson called her the unquestioned founding mother of the genre. Well, that sounds like both a quote, right? We have it right here. And what is her contribution? Well, uh, she's a founding mother. So that's, that's kind of a, a vague contribution, right? But it, it's a contribution. You kind of help found the genre. You're, you're early on in it. That, that might be it. I'm not convinced, but at least it has the quote. Let's look at D. A gospel musician, Sister Rosetta Tharp, had the ability to sing until you cried and also until you danced for joy, according to Roxy Moore. So we definitely have the quote. But now we have to think about the other goal here, right? We need to, what is the contribution to rock and roll? Well, in a dumb way, choice C actually mentions rock and roll and talks about a major impact on rock and roll. That, that sounds like a, a dead on synonym for contribution to rock and roll, a major impact on rock and roll, right? Now D, it says she's a gospel musician, so that's not the same genre, right? But also sing until you cry, until you dance for joy, that could apply to any kind of music. So it's not specific to rock and roll here. I, I wish that they said it. And uh, this, again, why do we maybe skip over these bullet points is that if we had read those bullet points, we might be more willing to say, oh, when Roxy Moore was talking about these things, she was doing it in a way that was about rock and roll. I mean, it doesn't say that in the bullet, right? It doesn't say that there, but all the other bullets are about rock and roll. So electric guitar, um, right here, a founding member of rock and roll, right? So our, our brain might just kind of like connect those dots and be like, oh, it's good enough, right? It, it is about rock and roll. It's just, they don't come out and say it. But no, 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 no. The point of these questions is they have to come out and say it. That's what we want. So just dumb it down. This is why I love dumb summaries. Even on these questions, we're kind of dumb summarizing the question, but it has two parts. C is the easiest to connect those two parts. Don't think too deeply about it, right? Like these are meant to be easier questions. Very rarely are you gonna have trouble with these. The only reason you might is if you're overthinking it and, and kind of writing your own version of the story. Stick to what's in the choices and make sure it matches with the things that they request in the questions.